Hello everyone, today's vlog is an update on business news, what's been happening in the business world this week and also the economy. So let's start over in the States uh, with the tech stocks. The Nasdaq reached an all-time high yesterday, the 20th of August, 11,300. So tech stocks doing really well despite the, uh, the recent downturn, the, the pandemic and the recession. Now, on the subject of tech stocks, the first ever U.S. company to be valued at two trillion um, happened this week, and it is Apple. First time an American company has been valued at more than two trillion. Not the first time in the world that a company has been valued at two trillion. When part of the Saudi Arabian uh, company Aramco was floated in December 2019, that valued the entire business at more than, um, slightly more than two trillion. But the first US company to break through that barrier is Apple. Now, interestingly enough, it took Apple 38 years um, to attain a value of one trillion dollars. So 38 years from first uh, being listed, and then only two years after that to jump from one trillion to two trillion. So well done to, to Apple on achieving that milestone. Other business news, um, company news, Boeing. Boeing have received their first order for the 737 MAX since the plane was grounded by the regulators. One of the Polish uh, airlines has ordered 737 MAX. So that's, that's uh, the first order since, uh, since those two fatal crashes a couple of years ago. So Boeing uh, very much hopes they'll be back in business with that. Um, UK businesses, M&S, M&S uh, unfortunately announced the proposed job cut, 7,000 jobs to go over the next three months. Now we'll wait and see what happens to M&S. Um, interesting times with the tie-in with Ocado that starts in a couple of weeks time in early September the much heralded um, joint venture. You remember that Waitrose had a JV with uh, M&S, M&S delivered the Waitrose produce. Now it will only deliver uh, M&S instead of Waitrose. Now that was the reason that M&S went through that rights issue of 600 million about a year ago. You can watch my other vlog on that for more details of uh, the rights issue. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, in the next few months with the uh, the Ocado tie-in with M&S. Speaking of which, something similar uh, is happening with one of the rival businesses. Amazon has hooked up with Morrison to deliver Morrison Morrison's groceries. Now, this isn't a full-blown tie-in yet like the M&S and Ocado one is. This is a trial. This is a trial stage in Leeds. Now remember, the uh, Morrison's HQ is in Bradford, and they're trying this out in Leeds to see what happens. So Amazon will be delivering Morrison's uh, produce in that Leeds area. So a, a lot of commentators, a lot of analysts think that online grocery shopping will just take off. I mean, it, it really did hit hit highs during the pandemic, and many believe that that will be the, the new norm now for, for most people to buy groceries online as opposed to going to the store. So certainly, um, Ocado and Amazon should do very well out of that. So other UK business news, Sports Direct, late with their accounts again. So the Sports Direct, which renamed itself Fraser's Group after... Mike Ashley acquired House of Fraser, rebranded the whole business Fraser's Group. They are late delivering their annual accounts. Now, this is the second year in a row that that's happened. It happened last year, caused a lot of uh, uproar in the markets. Indeed, the auditors, Grant Thornton, resigned on the back of the, uh, the matter. The, the new auditors, RSM, seems like they're not having much luck either. Again, the, um, the accounts are delayed. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens uh, in the Fraser's group. I think there's already been talk of them closing down more stores uh, since they acquired House of Fraser out of administration about two years ago. Mike Ashley has, has closed about 10 of those House of Fraser stores and it has been mooted that several more will follow. So 
what's this space at the uh, the Fraser's group. So, um, what else has been happening? Well, the oh, interestingly enough, coming back to the uh, the value of the <laughs> the two trillion dollars for Apple, coincidentally this week, another two trillion mark has been surpassed. Unfortunately, not a good milestone. The UK debt is now in excess of two trillion pounds. So for the first time ever, the UK national debt has exceeded the two trillion mark. Now, that is just over 100% of gross domestic product. So it's the first time that the UK public debt has exceeded GDP uh, since the financial crisis of 1960. So 60 years since we've had national debt at those high levels in comparison to GDP. So uh, so not great news uh, in the UK economy. So all in all, um, it's been a good week for tech stocks. It's been a bad week for uh, retailers. Hello, let's wait and see what happens in some of these online retail uh, tie-ins. Um, but uh, certainly the high street, the bricks and mortar retailers, more bad news, unfortunately. Uh, and we think in the weeks ahead, again, um, there'll only be more more trouble there. So do uh, do please subscribe if you like this video and I will speak to you soon.